In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome fly-through text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to begin by creating a brand new title layer. So we'll go up into File, New, Legacy Title, we'll press OK, and we want to create a brand new title. So make sure the T is blue, select anywhere on the video and just type out your word. Now from here, you want to make this really big, you want to make this really bold, and you want to make this white. It's super important that the text here is white. So we'll select that, we'll change the font, we'll change the weight of the font and we'll increase the size so that it fills up most of the screen. This is really important. Now, once you're happy with the look of that, we can exit the legacy title window and we can drag that title on to video layer two. So we've got this massive OK text. Now, from here, you want to go ahead and you want to go into your finder or your document and you want to import a video file into Premiere Pro. Now, I've already done this. This is VS8 in my example, and I have a shot of the London Eye. So we're going to fly through the OK text to reveal this video. So we'll drag VS8, that is your video, onto video layer one. And we're going to move that roughly three seconds into the video. Now, as you can see, as I've imported that video onto video layer one, the text has a transparent background. And it's really important that the text does not have a transparent background. So we'll go back into the title. We'll scroll down this panel on the right of the legacy title window and we'll go all the way down to background. Make sure there is a black background. Now, once you've added that, you just want to come out of the legacy title window. And as you'll see, that video has disappeared. Of course, if we turn this layer off, the video is still there. We just can't see it because there is now a black background behind the white text. So from here, we want to go ahead and we want to remove the transparency of the white text. So we'll go into effect controls with title selected and we'll go to the blend mode and we'll change the blend mode from normal to darken or multiply, either one works. And as you can see, we've got the video creeping in behind that text. Now, roughly two seconds into the video, we're gonna to go to our video of the London Eye. We'll go to opacity and we'll pull this all the way down to 0%. Make sure when you do this that you create a brand new keyframe. If you didn't create a brand new keyframe when you pull that down to zero, then all you need to do to create one is just select this stopwatch icon just here. You'll know when you've created one because you'll have this small diamond appear just here. Now, we'll move two seconds to the right and we'll pull the opacity all the way up to 100%. So if we play this back from the very beginning, we've got white text and then the video appears behind the text. Cool. So from here, we need to go ahead and we need to animate the position and the scale of the word. So we'll go to title, we'll go to the very beginning, and then we'll pull the scale down to around 70%. And we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale and position. Now we'll move over to the right. Let's go eight seconds to the right. And we're gonna really increase the scale up to a massive number. So we're gonna go all the way up to around 1000% and then we'll pull the position over to the right. It's super important that we can't see any of this black video shining through. If you can, then you just want to increase your scale or update the position. We want to really get rid of those black parts of the video. So as you can see, if we play this back, we fly through the text and that video appears. Of course, though, that is a little bit too slow for my liking. So I'm going to decrease the gap between those keyframes. So on the title, rather than taking seven seconds to get to that point, I'm going to pull these second set keyframes back so they only take around three seconds. Now, I'm really happy with the movement of that. That push in was really nice. The pace was fine. But the problem is we have white text just lingering on screen for a little bit too long. So in order to adjust for that, all you need to do is just pull the video underneath the title layer 
over to the left a touch and as you can see that will appear as we start to zoom through the word. There you go, that is how you make the transparent text fly through effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you enjoyed watching this video then please do consider subscribing and if you are subscribed then I will see you on the next video. See you there.